as you probably saw in the thumbnail um, I'm gonna attempt to do a nail gun I actually bought a few things for that and also I recently been getting some comments uh, saying that I should wear some gloves when working especially with power tools I do appreciate the feedback and I appreciate that you think about my well-being bought a new pair of gloves there we go I like them since this is gonna involve pressurized air nails I also went ahead and got myself proper eye protection yeah that's sexy so right off the bat i want to say this is probably not something you should try at home but then again i'm doing it at home so i can't really tell you what to do what i can tell you is that i'm not going to be responsible for what you do in your shed or garage or wherever you perform crazy stupid experiments if you put a nail in your foot or your eye or your neighbor that's not on me let's do some sketchy stuff Okay, so this is what I got. This is some kind of, uh, what do you call that, a solenoid valve. It's made for water, but it should handle 8 bars of pressure, a 12 volt battery. This is our trigger. I got some wires, red and yellow one. So this should be the quick connect thing for... Yep, that works. So I can hook it up to my air compressor. Regular plumbing fittings. Shut up! And I also bought one of these, um, I think it's copper. Oh crap, I bent it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the barrel. These are the nails I'm thinking about shooting. So these nails are 125 millimeter. So it's, it's five inch nails. This lump of wood is gonna be the handle and again, this might be illegal i hope it's not it might be where you are so so check that before you do it uh and again this is gonna be an experiment and it's not gonna be used for i don't know shooting at people i'm gonna try it against a, a piece of wood or a piece of styrofoam or something like that so yeah i'm not making a weapon let's start with the handle okay this is not a real gun this is um, a bb gun gonna use it as a template just to get the proper dimension. The basic shape is done. The grip is kind of nice. Good enough. So this is our whole barrel setup. It's gonna look like that. This is where the compressed air goes in, connects to the solenoid valve when it gets triggered by the some pixies. It's gonna be sending air through the barrel. I don't know how, but I'm gonna drill out uh, the front of this one for the barrel. And as usual, I'm just gonna wing it. So I need to cut this part out uh, in order to you know, fit the whole valve in here. I decided to use a chisel, uh, which wasn't a very good idea. I will see if I can save anything. Yeah, I know you can't believe it, but I actually spent a few hours on this. So maybe I can fit everything together and then just glue it together. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, I think I managed to get it all back together. I took the time to actually cut this out and, and fit the whole mechanism. And I did cut out a hole for... <laughs> Roger! Shut up! For the for the trigger. So this is gonna be a thumb triggered nail gun. Boop boop! Boop boop! Because I can't really fit it in here. I think I'm gonna keep this battery on the side and you can just put it in your pocket or whatever. I got somewhat of a bright idea last night. Um, so I'm, I'm got, I got some thin metal sheeting. Ow. 
Okay, so the metal plating works, I think. Made a hole for the for the button, like so. This is for the cables. It's not super pretty, but uh, what we're gonna do now is gonna paint it. Gonna tape up all the important parts first, and after that we're gonna replace the screws. Gonna wire everything up, and then we're gonna finally see if it works. Yeah, stay tuned. So I'm gonna let that sit for a while. Then we're gonna assemble, we're gonna do a test fire. Very nice. Now we just need to connect everything. Okay, I've connected two wires. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right there. Twist it. This one goes there. This wire is gonna go down like so. Now for the tricky part. Ha! Huh, perfect! can actually go ahead and, and screw this down now. It's done! It's finally done. It took me two days. It took me a lot of blood, sweat and tears. I do have a big cut in my hand. Uh, it's not that big, but it, it started bleeding anyway. Then I remembered. I have gloves now. And I know I didn't use them at all, basically. Turns out it's a good idea to use gloves when you're cutting sheet metal. Who knew? Anyway, so let me present to you the final product. I went ahead and added a small little bonus on... Let's see if I can do this without burning my camera. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's... Uh, I don't want to point this in my eye, because it's, it's a green laser. So yeah, kind of cool. Probably not going to do much for, for aiming though, but it, I mean, what's a gun without a cool laser side? So let me walk you through it. It's it's kind of easy. This big ass battery, I'm just going to keep that in, in my pocket. That's why the wires are so long. So you get the trigger. So we're going to plug it into the compressor and we're going to test fire, finally. I'm going to wear goggles and, and stuff and maybe, yeah, goggles should do it. And of course, as always, I'm using my safety sandals. It's very important. Ooh, let me check. I think I might have a... Yeah, I actually have a melon in my shed. It's not a real YouTube video if you don't shoot stuff at a melon. Let's try it out. Laser on. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. actually got stuck in the door behind it. I could probably use um, these screws. The head is a little bit bigger. It's time for the, the melon test. Here we go. And now I know that that aim is a bit high, so I'm just gonna aim up there and it should hit the middle. Okay, let's go for a screw. I mean, this is a five inch nail. Look at that. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone that enjoys safety. Yeah, I mean, in general, don't do this. It's, it's stupid. But now I've done it, so you don't have to. Anyway, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. I have a few, uh, both some restorations, some construction work, some random stuff. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below um, and all that. Yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.